And Aaron, parents of the children who were threatened say that the school couldn't have handled this any worse. What happens next time that this happens? And unfortunately, in this day and age, with all of the school stuff going on, um, there is going to be a next time. But what happens next time and how are students treated um, next time this happens? Concerned parents speaking out after a 13-year-old boy at Buena Vista Middle School brought a multi-tool with a knife blade on campus, brandishing it to three students, including holding it up against another student's neck. The school staff had confiscated a weapon and a small knife from one of the students um, and then contacted the sheriff's office to report it the following day. The main concern for many parents why did it take so long for the school to notify parents and law enforcement? As Deputy Smith said, police weren't told until the next day, and it was a full week before the school sent a memo out to parents. When I picked my son up from school, he let me know that he had been um, the victim of having a knife pulled on him at school, as well as witnessing uh, the other student having a knife put up to her throat. We as parents, we were not notified by the school district at all that our students had been involved in this altercation. We reached out to the Spreckles Union School District Superintendent multiple times, but didn't receive a call back. Parents say they'd like to see a plan put in place for the future. I think that um, we would like to see a safety plan for the district. What is the school district going to do to protect not only my child, but the other children who are involved and the other children on campus should this student come looking for revenge. The sheriff's office says they're working to make sure situations like this are handled correctly going forward. We're going to be reaching out to all of our district superintendents. We're going to re um, collaborate with the school site safety plan to ensure that they're following their school site safety plan. Parents have told me that their children still haven't returned to school because, quite frankly, they're still traumatized and they're hoping that an expulsion is in order for the 13-year-old who brandished the knife.